author that I've always admired has come into the studio. Tunde Leye is an author, Nigerian author of four books and two novellas. Now, he's also the author of this one, Afonja, a critically acclaimed historical fiction novel. Now, it chronicles the fall and rise of the Oyo, Oyo Empire and the role of Afonja. So I have to, in fact, I feel like giving you a big hug from, no, 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 don't, 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 stay there. <laughs> I've been watching your career just grow and blossom, and I'm so pleased to have you right there on the couch. Welcome to the studio. Thank you very much for having me. Um, so Titi is one of the people that have been with me from oh. one of my day one people. Honestly. So, <laughs> so he, you started out as a blogger, for yes. those that don't know, and mm. your blog posts were just um, getting a lot of views. Absolutely. And then suddenly someone tells me about your blog and then we st I started reading from it and then that's how we met. Yeah. Um, uh, it's different now because of the novels and all the pieces you've put out there, especially mm. one like this. This is an epic, which yeah. is quite different from other works that you've put out there before. The most recent of your works being Guardian of the Seal. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a science fiction Fantasy. Fantasy novel. Yeah. So tell us how you came about putting together Afonja. I think Af Afonja started as from a conversation. Okay. With a couple of friends of mine that they're usually very versatile about history, okay. about stuff. And I found that when I asked them about things like um, the Roman Empire or Napoleon or all those, they were, they were great with all those things. They would tell you the battle of this, the battle of Cane and all of those things. But one day I asked them about the Kiriji War. Kiriji War? Yeah. Okay. Even I don't know what the Kiriji <laughs> War is. You see? Yeah. So you should read that for Jaya. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know, and the Kiriji War is a, was a 16 year war that happened in Yoruba land okay. where Ibadan was fighting. And it's hard to find any other culture that would fight a 16 year war. Mm -hmm. And there's not a lot of history, a lot of knowledge about it and all of that. I realized that there, there were a lot in my generation mm. that didn't know our history before the white men came. A lot of our history was taught as if it started when the colonial masters started engaging us. Okay. And I realized that our parents that knew those, that history were not telling us. Mm. The schools that should have taught us that history were not teaching us. Okay. And so we were just in that void and all that. And Afonja the Rise is, an, is, is a story that introduces a very pivotal point in the Oyo Empire's history okay. to this generation mm. in story form, in a okay. way that they would enjoy. So let me just take uh, one of the paragraphs at the back of the book here. It mm. says, when Alafin Abiodun Adegolu, right, yeah, died, the Oyo Empire, or your empire, was in a slow decline. The provincial chiefs who helped him defeat the tyrannical Basharunga had grown in power, and the Oyo chiefs were more politicians than warriors. Mm. So one, the Oyo, the Oyo Messi, right? Oyo Messi. Oyo Messi. Oyo Messi. When they uh, selected a provincial prince to ascend the throne, they believed that they had found someone they could control. Mm. But that wasn't the case. So is this all true? Or are you creating a tale around what could have happened during the war? Uh, it, or during that time? It, so it, it's faction. That's, that's what you call this type of thing, where okay. you take elements of reality, of okay. history, of things that really happened, and then you build um, motives, you build um, conversation, you build things that, you know, because hum human nature yeah. is essentially the same. Mm. We change some things, but human nature is essentially the same. So if you understand human interactions today, you will understand how human beings would have interacted with power okay. back in... Th that phrase you read, for example, it sounds like Nigeria today, of if course. you think about it. People mm. want to select a leader, people want to control the leader, people want to have interest, they will... They will. So, and they believe that they know what the they person, know what is, going the person is going to do. And then yeah. the person gets there and does something different. Mm. So it's essentially very similar to mm. us today. Okay. And the facts were like, the facts from history were like, you know, pillars. And then all the other things were like the embellishment, the walls, okay. the decor, okay. to okay. make it a very fine tapestry. All right, so from your writing before now, mm. I know that you've had some very erotic chapters yeah. in your books. <laughs> yes. So I have to ask, I haven't got there yet. Okay. Um, this is an epic. Have mm -hmm. you decided to infuse any of that controversial 
uh, <coughs> writing <laughs> into Afonja. <laughs> is there anything raunchy to expect in, inside this book? There is some, because I believe um, that people back then were also expressive, okay. if you may. So th th there's an interesting character who's a priestess, okay. but that fell in love with a very dangerous man. Mm. And so she was conflicted between her priestessness and, and, pursu and pursuing the love affair with this um, not so gentleman. Okay, and not that, so gentleman. <laughs> you don't want to say I more about that. that. Okay, so uh, also um, when it comes to swear words and profanities, you've never held back in your writing before now. Did you hold back because this is an epic? Um, absolutely not. Yoruba, this, this is a, um, an epic based on Yoruba history. Okay. The Yoruba language is one of the languages that is not shy. Okay. about talking about things that other languages might even consider profanity. I mean, if you delve into our proverbs, mm. I'm on TV, so I won't say some of okay, them. Okay. But if you delve into our proverbs, you see that we're not shy about talking about body parts and um, activities that are erotic and all of that. Okay. So, it, and I used a lot of proverbs in this work that I translated into English. I tried as much as possible to translate and not transliterate. Okay. And you would find that there's no holding back. There were people and they lived their lives. So if they cursed somebody, for example, mm. Yoruba curses are not nice ah, they're not. curses. So if there, if there was a curse there, it would have been as heavy as it would be. Because you want to present Mm. these characters as authentic people that you should have a feeling about. You know, you read about a character yeah. and you feel strongly about this person because you can like identify you with the person, <laughs> absolutely. All right, then. so has this book officially been launched? Um, we officially launched on January 27th. 27th? Yes. Is there going to be a big event and all big that? Big event. Huge. Huge okay, event. I can't wait. I can't wait. So that <laughs> hug I was pausing for, okay. please, I have to we'll give you now. now. Come here. Oh, thank you and thank congratulations. You amazing, amazing piece there. Thank you very much.